Finally, a supermarket to call my very own. I can't wait to interact with members of the public. A hundred dollars! Sell high quality food. Alright, you gotta store the, this milk out in the sun. And contribute to the overall health and wellness of society. The Squonkle Supermarket is officially open for business. Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. You'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Do we sell some chocopic sliced bread? You know, that's that's an essential right there. Pasta's pretty cheap. Let's go pasta. One thing of flour. We sell carbs only in this store. Wait, shipping? There's shipping fees? No. <laughs> okay, we'll do two sliced bread, two pasta. That's it. Okay, two pasta, two sliced bread, one craft tongue flour. <laughs> I have eight cents to my name. This is a safety hazard. Duh! That's someone else's problem now. Now we got our sliced bread. Bam, 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 bang. Or you can double up. Shoot. I've got way too much bread. No, now my displays are gonna look... They're not even packaged in here. Okay, we've obtained our groceries. Why Why is everything named 99 cents? Why can't we just round up to the nearest whole dollar? I don't understand. After setting my product prices to reasonable amounts, it was time for my official first day of work. My first day at my new store. Hello. This flower is really great stuff. Change. A hundred dollars? You, what is wrong with you? <laughs> There you go, ma'am. Enjoy. One thing of bread coming right up. Oh, a credit card. Four fifty nine. Who pays with a hundred dollars? He's a psychopath. One flour, one sourdough bread coming right up. Okay, thank you for being a normal person. Although I hate getting coins too. One credit card swipe coming right up. Have a nice day. You, sir, can I interest you in some carbohydrates? We have everything from almost bread to bread. I don't know, am I messed up for giving the 40 cents in dimes instead of going, going for the quarter? Enjoy your bread! Have a wheat-tastic day! Carpe diem yeast the day! Oh, we're gonna be running out of flour! Gotta buy more flour soon. Uh oh, I gotta... Uh, gotta check everyone out. Bam, bam, thank you ma'am. Okay, shoot, we need more bread. Or, or more flour. Two boxes. They got to here so fast. Eight dollars and eight cents. Hey, make yourself a grilled cheese for me. Ma'am, I have to restock the flour. Throw that over there! How may I help you today, ma'am? Two things of pasta and one thing of flour. 10.97 and three cents change. Thank you very much. Whoa, look at the, look at that white suit. That is a powerful look. Don't use all that bread on in one place. Enjoy, <laughs> do you like our, sir, do you like our store? <sighs> Didn't I see you earlier? I, <laughs> I think I, I think I was too awkward. I didn't want to have a conversation. I killed it, I ruined it. <laughs> 798. Oh, perfect. Ma'am, you're a model citizen. Thank you very much. Sir, I must have I must compliment you on your shirt. That is so cool. Where'd you get it? Ma'am, I happened to see you checking out your groceries and I had to compliment your beauty. Oh, okay. You're the last customer for the day, sir. Did he just shoplift? Did he just take my shit? Hey! You gotta pay for that, man. I don't know what they did back in your day in the 1800s. We pay for our groceries now. Gosh, dang it. The audacity. The audacity of people. And after a successful first shift... Products found expensive. Oh, cry me a river. I reveled in my profits. If every day was like this one, running my business would be a breeze. Make sure to pay the bills using your computer before their due date, or, they, or they'll be paid automatically. Oh, okay, that's fine then. We definitely need at least two more things of bread. Let's go two more things of pasta, and one thing of flour. Let's get some some oil on these shelves, I think. Or some sugar. I don't know, oil seems like the real the real bread maker. Oh, but cereal? Cereal's so expensive. Do one thing of cereal as well. We're gonna be rolling in the green soon. I should throw these boxes out. There we go. <laughs> Two, three, four. Being very space efficient. I guess not. We could have stopped. We could have put the half of them on. We could put all of them on one half of the. But you have to make your stores look more full. That's the secret. <laughs> he looks like he got a like a, a spray tan on his forehead only. My shelves. My shelving. It looks terrible. Hey, you want a free box? She's a ghost. The street is haunted. I gotta get the hell out of here. It's fine. We got money to make. Despite my harrowing encounter, I was ready for another day of work. Come on in. Get your bread, flour, cereal, and oil here. Yeah. And pasta. Pasta too. We have, we, have, uh, we have a few things of pasta. Please buy our food. You, sir, can I interest you in some carbohydrate products? Maybe wash it down with some oil? The store is over here, sir. Oh, no. No one's
friends going in the store. You, sir, you look like the a an enjoyer of fine grains. Perfect. Two things of bread. I was just saying, you look like a two breader kind of guy. I didn't set. The, I didn't set the price for the cereal. <gasps> oh no! It's free right now. <laughs> oh no! It's six fifty nine. Cereal is six fifty nine, sir. Oh, I see you got the pre made the do it yourself the DIY cereal. Have a nice day. He buys two things. Taylor Swift is in my store. <laughs> can I take her picture so I can post it on social media? A dollar fifty? That's not the right price. Shoot, she sh she bought the oil before I put it. <laughs> I just lost so much money there. What's wrong with me? Go, leave. There's already too many customers. Enjoy that fine bread. Speaking of fine bread. <laughs> If I heard that, I would run out of the store. Get out while you still can. The bread is poisoned. I've poisoned the bread. Don't buy the bread. It was an accident. It's stored bread and anthrax in the same closet. Having a party later? Two things of pasta and two things of flour? Sounds like a wild night. Hold on, sir. I have to complete the tutorial. Wait, you can break the game? Imagine playing this game. <laughs> I'm so happy that you think I'm normal. Oil and cereal. A match made in heaven. This seems like the time of day I would close the store. No, we're clo we're closed. We're closed. Sorry. Closed. <laughs> we're open until 9 p.m. That's it. I won't lie. Being the purveyor of these fine groceries made the power go to my head. I'm the one with all the power here. The, co the consumer is just stupid. They'll buy whatever they want. Who knocked over my boxes? Who did it? You. Why'd you hit my boxes? You clipped my boxes. I saw you. Dang asshole. Tinted windows. And with this power, I made my patrons my unwilling guinea pigs. Rotate the register around and get a big line of customers. And get flush against the wall. Wait, okay, so... The register... Oh! <laughs> Hold on, ma'am, one second. Ron Sla- Oh, shut up, whiny little bread. Baby, does baby not get his bread? Shut up. Okay, now leave it and make a big line of customers. Sir, we have to go out for a second. Very important things. Will they get impatient and leave? I'm just starting out. It's, it was my father's store. I can't afford to have it close. He lost both of his arms in the Vietnam War and couldn't check people's groceries out when he came back. Are they just gonna clip into the wall? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy has so <laughs> Oh! That guy had so many people breathing down his neck. That's crazy. They did the fusion dance. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why? Have some decency. Pay with a normal size bill. <laughs> I've created a creature so powerful. The ultimate grocery consuming machine. Bam. Bam bam. Couldn't find- We're out of pasta! Oh no! Although I was short some supplies, I ended the day in the green. Big, big day for profits. <laughs> nice, new products are available. <laughs> Chanked this stuff. This is valuable product. Can't have people playing games with it. We are open for business. Candy! <laughs> Candy! Yay! Oh, my childlike innocence. It's ruined. You, sir, look like the kind of guy who likes groceries. Couldn't find- hey, Who gives a shit? I don't have a fridge. Why would you come in here expecting eggs? I don't have a fridge! Perfect. <laughs> you need a fridge for that stuff! Should have waited another day. God, people are- They're coming in for stuff we don't even have. Like, what's wrong with people? Go to a place that can afford a fridge. <laughs> if you want cheese that bad, don't eat too much cereal all at once. You'll get a tummy ache. You know what, you're not getting those two cents back. Yeah, complain about it. Post on Yelp. See see if I care. That's what you get for paying with it for seven dollars worth of groceries with a fifty dollar bill. Admittedly, I was not handling the customer's reasonable requests and complaints very well. Fine, purchase a purchase a damn fridge. There. Happy! There we go. And I'm gonna pack it with only water. <laughs> Screw your eggs. Pass. Oh, shut up. Yeah, have your flour. You peasant. <laughs> you surf. You can't afford reasonably priced pasta. You disgust me. <laughs> I ought to give you one dollar. I need everybody out of my store. We're closed. Get out. <laughs> With the pressure mounting, I made a decision that would change my reputation and store forever. The next time someone walks in and pays with a hundred dollars, um, it's coming in pennies, and it'll be completely deserved. How many things of pasta did I buy? Two? Yes, perfect. Oh shoot, that's right. And I, <laughs> I forgot. Pasta is haunting me. I'm 
gonna go broke. Wait, where's my waters? Didn't I purchase water? Did someone steal it? I ordered like water and eggs, didn't I? And eggs. This is a scam. Look, I even changed the amounts. Unbelievable. I'm not gonna have enough room. All right, we gotta store the, this milk out in the sun. The milkman just left it here. I don't know how that got there. My paranoia and delusions were building fast. I needed to make a change and quick. Welcome to the store. Oh my lord. Hey, go back and purchase something. What are you talking about? All right, you asked for it. Oh no, I can't do this forever. <laughs> This is gonna take too long. Here, have some 50 cent coins. And one nickel, which you get for paying with a hundred dollar bill for thirteen dollars worth of groceries. There, there, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy your groceries, you vile person. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Looks like you could snap your arms in two. Sorry for insulting you, thank you for, for uh, purchasing with the correct amount. And after that breakdown, the community had finally had enough. Oh. Uh, what? There's nothing on- Uh-oh. <laughs> what happened? Put your shit on the dang register! The members of the public joined in silent protest of my supermarket. Are you kidding? Maybe I need to move this. <laughs> They're gonna do it again. <laughs> I can't make any money! <laughs> Alright, everyone out! I wanna- <laughs> Closing the store. Get out. No one can purchase anything. Even Madam Crazy Hair. My day is ruined. It's the coin lady's p curse. What? Say, say, say whatever it is. Sorry, everyone. No one's getting groceries today because someone wants to be obstinate. I gave a woman too many coins because she paid with a hundred dollar bill and as revenge for my revenge, she told that guy to just stand in line. Coin lady really screwed me over. What? I can't click on it. Oh, no. Not again! Please put your stuff on the register again, ma'am. She stole my stuff! What's going on? I gotta close it. I gotta, I gotta close it. Unfortunately, due to the rallying of the community, my business could not continue. My market was condemned and I would be forced to eat the gum off the bottoms of tables to survive. If you enjoyed this cautionary tale, make sure to squawk scribe to the channel and leave a like. Additionally, if you have any feedback for me, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and until next time, stay squonky.